today i will explain chapter 14 exercise 14.3 for class 8 question number 2 and previous i have explained question number 1 you can check the video now first part you have to divide the given polynomial by the given monomial you know what is the meaning of monomial single term first we have to divide 5 x square minus 6x and we have divide by 3x first we will write 5x square minus 6x divide by 3x mostly the student do the mistake they cut this single term with this we can't cut this term we have to take common First, you see five x square and six x. What is common? X, x you write outside internal. Five x minus six will left. Divide by three x. Now you can cancel this x with x. Don't cut this three x by six x. You write two x. Then it will be wrong. Now our answer will be one by three, five x minus six. Now second part. The second part is three y power eight minus four y power six plus five y power four. Directly, I am writing the divide sign because you have to divide by y four. Now, first, you have to take common in these three terms. What is the common? Maximum y power is eight, then six, then four. It means you can take y power four as common. Always write equal sign. We have write y power four internal three y power four. Then minus four y power two and plus five because y four is outside. Here will be five left. Divide by y power four. Now you can cancel this y by four y power four and this y raised to power four, and we get. Three y raised to power four minus four y square plus five. Always take common, then you can cancel. Don't directly this monomial. You cut this three term. First, you have to take common. Maybe you understood. Now third part. Eight x power three y raised to power two z power two plus x power two. Y power three, Z power two, plus X raised to power two, Y raised to power two, and Z raised to power three. You have to divide by four X square, Y square, and Z square. So this four X square, Y square, and Z square directly I am writing as a denominator. We have to divide. So I am writing here. Now you see. X power three, y power two, and z power two. Here x power two, y power three, z power two. X power two, y power two, and z power three. We can't cut directly. First, we have to take common. First, we will take in these three terms. What is the common? Minimum power of x is here three, here two, and here two. X power two we can take as common. Check about the y. Y square, y cube, y square. So y square we can take common. Similarly, we can take z square as common. Now, x here we have to take two by mistake. I have taken three. X power two, y power two, and z power two. In turn, here we left x. X power two, y power three, z power three. X two, z two. X power two, Z power two, and Y is power two, and here Y power three. We will left with Y. Similarly, here Z power three, X power two, Y power two, X power two, Y power two, and Z power two, and here Z will left. And four X square, Y square, and Z square. One thing I want to explain: if any confusion is there, 
like if you are dividing x power 3, y power 2 and z power 2. If you divide by x square, y square and z square. y square, z square, y square and z square will be cancelled. And when base are same and divide, power will be subtracted. So here x left, similarly here y left and here z left. Now you can cut x square, y square and z square because they are in multiplication. If there is any sign, you can't cut. Now 8 and 4. Uh, 8 is divisible by 4. So you can write 4 to the 8. So your answer will be 2x plus y plus z. Now next part. We have to divide x cube plus 2x square plus 3x by 2x. I have written the statement here. Sometimes the student, this 2x cut by this 2x, then some will be wrong. You have considered this point directly. You can't cut. There is three term and there is a single term. Always take common. Then you can cut. Here x cube, 2x square and 3x. What is the minimum power of x is 1? You take x as common. Internal x power 2 will left plus 2x and plus 3. Because I have practiced, I am writing directly. If you have any confusion, so you can write x cube and then divide by x. What will be left here? x square will write here like this. 2x square divide by x. What will be left? 2x. 3x divided by x. 3. So I write here directly. With practice you can also write directly. Now this x will be cancelled with this x. And you will left with 1 by 2. x square plus 2x plus 3. Now fifth part. Fifth part, p raised to power 3, q raised to power 6 minus p raised to power 6, q power 3 and you have to divide by p raised to power 3 and q raised to power 3. Because we have to divide by p power 3 and q power 3, I have write as denominator. Directly you can't cut, it is a monomial and it is a binomial, two term. First step is you have to take comma. Check here p power 3 and p power 6. What is the minimum power of p 3? You can take p 3 as outside. q power 6 and q power 3 minimum power q power 3 you can take outside. p power 3 already outside. q power 6 here q power 3 means q power 6 minus 3 what you left with q power 3. Here p power 6 q power 3. q power 3 already here p power 6 minus 3, you will get p power 3. And here p power 3 and q power 3. This p power 3 and q power 3 cancel with this. And you will left with q power 3 and p power 3. Hope you will understood. And if you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe. Thank you.